Introducing Automation Test Type. Let's create a new test. From now on, in addition to scripted and exploratory test options, you have the option to choose an automated test. By default, its sub-options are disabled. Once we select the automated test option, we get to choose from a list of options that we can enable or disable in the Settings tab. We have several test types options to create. An API test, a firecracker test, or an eggplant test. Within the next few weeks, we will also relaunch Xbot, an internal automation framework. Once we create an automated test, we will have a new automation information tab where we can insert automation detailed information, in addition to our usual general and steps tabs. In the cases of Xbot or Eggplant, the additional required fields will appear automatically. When creating an API type automated test, it's recommended to fill in the automated information and the script repository information. Make sure to fill in all mandatory system and custom fields before saving. Once the new test has been created, we can see its type as automated API and the relevant icon. In addition, we now have the option to convert tests to a different available test type. Under Actions, you can see all the relevant options such as convert to eggplant or convert to firecracker. We also have the option to revert the test back into a scripted test and to enable the steps tab if needed. When converting a test into an automated type, we will automatically be directed to the Automation Information tab to fill in all the required information. In cases where information is missing, an error message will appear on the top right corner of the screen under the Test Type Information. Now that we've seen how to create a new automation type test and the various edit options, let's have a look at the test library grid. We can see various testing types have different icons and we can sort tests by their type. We can create filters based on the test type as well. For example, create a filter that is named Eggplant. Select the criteria, type is Eggplant. Now we can see all tests whose test type is Eggplant. In the Test Sets and Runs module, we have a test set with several instances. We can sort the various tests by their type. Xbot and Eggplant test types can be executed directly from the Test Sets and Runs module. API or Firecracker test types have a view option since their purpose is to receive results from an external run. Automation settings. In the main automation settings page, you can find a short explanation with a link to the relevant help page. You have the ability to enable or disable the various testing types that will be displayed when creating a new test.